Today on the mini breakdown, we're going to be looking at Ryan Pappenhausen as a junior for Parramatta in 2014, playing the under-16s grand final, and that's him scoring a try there and a nice play. Let's just analyze this play. Now, the fast feet from the dumper is very unnecessary, but I guess if you're under 16s in 2014, it looks cool. So this is an ML platform. And by ML, if you haven't heard of it, it's ML stands for middle link, but the play the ball is still middle middle, but it's kind of like a short side rooster. This guy here is going to run forward and direct attacking this offside player. The dummy half is gonna run around just to make sure that this guy can't come in because by running around, if the link comes in, it will be a three on two, easy on the short side. So that's what happens here. Uh, the team they're playing against is Beresfield. And whether or not they did um, sort of an analysis on the way Beresfield defend, they try to do a lot of man on. Back then, it was very popular for that team to do man on play. So when they run that ML and they step back, you can see this over here is the far link. That's Ryan Pappenhausen, and he's going to be a late switcher. So when the two middles try to compete and stay on their man, the number six here is going to shift uh, his momentum. And this is the guy that played the ball. He's also shifting momentum, which means the middles are going to have to chase this way with Ryan Pappenhausen coming out of, under the shadows and switching to counter the momentum. So as we play it in slow motion, there's the late switch there. And you can see that the two... Two middles from Beresfield, all their momentum was this way. Next thing you know, it's been counted. What I will say, though, is normally when you run this play, the switch, the dumper, will go in front and the switcher behind just to, to try and not be seen. I don't know whether they've mucked it up or that's just the way they do it, but he came in front. But it still worked, and it's a good play, especially when you've got those teams trying to man up. If they're just pulling a hard corner, you're going to switch into the three-on-three. So don't just do it because of the sake of it looking cool. Do it because teams are trying to man up and compete. A late switch is always, any, any form of late switch is good for a competing team. So this is number seven's Ryan. Again, dummy half, splits the middles. Flick ball, everyone's on the ground. Another flick and the big front flip. So let's have a look at that play. A lot going on here. So a basic four on three platform. The dump is, it's a middle link dump. On the middle, dump is gonna fade out. Dummy half's gonna run direct and attack the offside player. Now a rule of thumb here, normally, good shape by the toucher. Okay, he's pulling corner, but he's not absolutely just running away. So he's pulling a bit direct, but his shape's good. Um, dummy half gets on his inside. Now normally, the rule of thumb for this middle is you don't let anyone run through there. So at the last minute, once he gets through the line, he just needs to reach and make the touch. But again, we spoke about it earlier, this team likes to man on. So they're just gonna all man on, and he's gonna chase the dummy half. So as we play, chasing the dummy half, and you can see these two here, like fighting for freedom. Uh, it's just really good man on defense by Beresfield. That's how they got to the grand final, just by that tactic. That's a Hail Mary pass. You can say, yeah, he meant to. He might have saw someone in the corner of his eye, but that's <laughs> that's probably 40% skill, 60% luck. And they're trying to, as you can see, they're manning on still. He's almost made the touch, but he's missed. Ball's still alive here. Let's see what happens. He throws the ball. It hits the Beresfield arm. Back into Parramatta's hands. Then they manage to score the try. Crazy play, that one. <laughs> the referees do have a conversation, but it ends up being a try. Here's a, a, the third one. Out of dummy half. Makes it on the short side. And just gets the try again. The referees have a meeting, and they do decide this is a try. Let's have a look at this play. So it looks like an, an, uh, a short side quick. Yeah, I know he started on the left, but the way that he finishes here, he makes the, the touch on the close side to the camera Middle. So he's going to split short side. I know it kind of, he crosses, uh, he wasn't on that side, but it's about what the defense do, not what the what side the attack's on. So he's going to split short side, and normally he would get the ball back, and Beresfield can't compete here because he's a live player. So he gets the ball back, and normally he would just angle back in and try to score between the middles. So the other middle from Beresfield, 
uh, the one he's sort of behind the arrow, he's got to then close that gap. So as you can see, he's coming inwards to close that gap, which is good. But dummy, uh, the dummy half's Ryan, Ryan Pappenhausen, and he throws the dummy to the quickie and then immediately accelerates. Okay, because his momentum as a defender is going in to cover that gap, which is correct, 100% correct. But Pappenhausen just now counters momentum. You can see the Beresfield player stumble, and now he's got his feet, but Ryan's got a bit of a head start. And all we do here, again, as Beresfield normally do, you man up. Uh, these guys are pretty manned up. These guys are manned up. These two here, the Parramatta guy is just going to basically beat him for speed, beat the Beresfield player for speed, only marginally. And it's got to be a, a really nice pass. You can just see them both sprinting there. It's got to be a nice pass out in front. Doesn't have to slow down. Very close, very tight decision here. Beresfield's calling the touch, but they do call it a try. So that's just a couple of highlights of, of Ryan Pappenhausen as a touch footy player. Um, if he had have continued at his touch footy player, if he didn't get picked up by an NRL team, he would have been a very, very successful touch footy player. Um, but as we see now, he's um, well, he's injured at the moment. Hopefully he comes back some point. This video was made in May, so if he's back already, that's awesome. But um, if not, we hope to see him back soon. Um, and maybe, look, one day he might jump on the touch field again, which would be awesome to see as well. But thanks for watching the mini breakdown. We'll see you again soon.